was the night before Christmas. On a set lit so bright, a director was planning an awesome delight to make a Marvel special with some holiday fun. That man was none other than director James Gunn. It is the very first thing ever conceived from Marvel Studios for Disney+. Plus. It's a fantastic story, vomited from the brain of a mad genius. Uh, action! On the set of Volume 2, James Gunn said, we should do a holiday special. Merry Christmas! We all had a laugh, we thought that would be great. And then they wrote it, like three days. In the holiday special, it's like awesome. This has been a real joyful shoot because I get to work with a lot of people I really love. Ah! I think audiences are really going to be excited. It's probably going to be played every year for the rest of our lives. <laughs> Kevin Bacon. You're coming with us. That's a Christmas present. Christmas is the Christmas time is here. Look around you. This whole place is for people who want to escape. People who don't belong anywhere else. How do you feel? I do feel a bit numb, I suppose. The world is changing. Wow. You can't reverse it. Another world. Happy New Year! Hello! You can't just give up. Don't let them tell you what you can or can't do. All these people. I'm the only one who knows the truth. Do you understand me? I'm the only one! Hillary, please open the door. Here's to the future. Walking those old scenes. Here's to getting back up. And here's to coming home. The War of Angels. Michael defeated Lucifer and bound him in hell. How's my art historian? Good. He wanted to show me something? The Shroud of Christ. The world's most famous object and the most sacred. I believe art tells the story of our past and hints at our future. Lucifer would have consumed us all if Michael hadn't stopped her. Pray he never finds his way out. Stop this desecration! I'd choose her. Sir Michael, take my body. Use it to defeat Satan. Michael, kill him. No, no, priest. Father Malcolm is dead. I'm just <laughs> borrowing him for a bit. Lucifer will finally have a worthy home. It's why they stole the shroud. They needed DNA. What's in me? A new Jesus. <laughs> a better Jesus. Wow. Have mercy. This is my responsibility. Hell shall come to earth. Michael! I will return to you as your god! Lucifer!
can sell you 200 pounds. We don't really do anything less than that. Yeah, it's just a big chunk of change. Well, maybe you're in the wrong business then. <laughs> no, I don't think that's the case. Look, I want to talk to your guy. My guy? The big guy, the guy you collect for. Well, Vince, you don't want to mess with these dudes. Yeah, I don't see many more options. And you're here to borrow some money, yeah? Yeah. Maybe we can go talk about this in private. You're amongst friends here. You've done it all, baby. There's nothing left to prove. Let's promise to be completely honest with one another. We tell each other our most personal fears. My biggest fear is drowning. Claustrophobia. Small, confined spaces. It's something about blood. My biggest fear is losing you. Keep <laughs> bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Believing what you fear will bring to the victim what they are afraid of. What do you see? I see how I'm gonna die. Let me out! 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 Who's paying you? Who the hell is John Smith? He's just another shooter for hire. I don't work with people I don't know. You ain't going nowhere. I need this to go away. I'll take care of it. What's next? It's an open contract. The target is French national Jean Rousseau. He's preparing a data dump that will expose fraud and corruption. Last seen at the Grand Hotel in Tijuana. Discretion is paramount. Know oh, where he is. Do whatever it takes. You got a million dollar contract on your head. Bring me Rousseau. I'll let you live. Nice to see you, 
again, John. Jesus Christ, you all know each other. You sang this song to make your child sleep? You opened the gateway. Now she's coming for the children. Who is she? Lilith. Mothers sing lullabies to keep Lilith away. But she turned it into a lullaby that summons her. Eli? 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 How do we protect our son? She's strong, but she's not as strong as Faith. Okay, roll film. You like that protein? That stuff causes cancer in laboratory animals, in case you didn't know. Either I chew gum or I smoke. What are these children, yours? That's mine from wives one and three. There's Babette's from husband two. Wilder is ours. We're each other's fourth. Life is good, Jack. I hope it lasts forever. Let's watch a sitcom or something. No! They're calling it the Airborne Toxic Event. It won't come this way. Will we have to leave our home? Of course not. How do you know? I just know. Okay, what if it's dangerous? We have a situation. All we have to do is stay out of the way. They're passing us, Dad. Technically, that's illegal. <laughs> do sheep have lashes? Ask your father. We're going sideways. Dad, do sheep have lashes? Doesn't anyone want to pay attention to what's actually happening? I wish there was something I could do. I wish I could outthink the problem. There are two kinds of people in the world. Killers and dyers. Most of us are dyers. Right now we're safe. As long as the children are here, they need us. For some persistent sense of large-scale ruin, we keep inventing hope. If you could go anywhere in the whole world, where would you go? I always want to be part of something bigger. Yes! Babylon is about a group of people who find themselves in early Hollywood at a time of extreme depravity and debauchery and excess. Ah! It's the biggest thing I've ever tried to do. Action! It was such an insane time. It was just wild, like the Wild West. The story follows multiple characters that have an ambition to be a part of something bigger than themselves. We've got to innovate. We've got to inspire.
Jack Conrad is the biggest film actor at the top of his game, and he's calling a lot of the shots. Take two frames off the tail and three more off the head. Manny is our guide through the story. These are eyes and ears from an outsider's point of view. He's a dreamer, someone that is trying to find his way. You can feel it. It's something bigger than life. Nelly is an aspiring actress. She's like a tornado. Hello, Colin! Jesus Christ! And she's not gonna let anyone stand in her way. I got here on my terms, not theirs. Party time! It's a uniquely different cinematic experience. And it's going to be truly amazing. Whoa! It shows a side of Hollywood beyond what you could have imagined. I'm in so much trouble. People are going to be really shocked to see how crazy it was. Is this going to be what it's going to be? It's really funny at times. Look at these idiots! It's really sexy at times. The film is so big, it's really an epic. Yeah! It's just phenomenal. I'm Darby Harper. Just watch me. Are you sitting down for this? I see dead people. I help them pass on to the next realm. You'd think that'd be my life's biggest burden, but it is a distant second to where I am forced to spend my days. Two, one, two. High school. That's Capri Donahue, head cheerleader. Isn't cheer just for shallow hot girls? I'm so glad you asked. And the answer is, that's offensive. Capri knows I'm the one person she can't get to like her. Darby, I forgot you went here. Capri, give me my clothes. Why would I take your clothes? I'm not planning on attending a funeral. She can be a little extra sometimes. Extra psychotic. I'm reporting live from Frederick Douglass High School, where yesterday students witnessed the shocking death of head cheerleader Capri Donahue. Wake up! Wake up, bitch. Oh, God damn it. You can't see me. What are you doing here? My sweet 17 is coming up in a month. All I want is this party. Help me. And then I'll move on. In what world do you think I can throw your dream party? In a world where I make you popular enough to do it. Who is that? I want her, but... Any press is good press. Seeing a dead person. Hi, bitch. It is a very traumatic experience. You look like you've just seen a ghost. I think it's criminally good haunting. Oh, it's your mom. Okay. Hey, Mrs. C. We were just in the middle of eating. Yeah. Jesse, what do you want for Christmas? I already have what I want. True love. Jesse, I think I'm holding you back. Are you breaking up with me? Baby, we did things right, you know? We kept the fights clean and the sex dirty. I mean, you keep that pussy so fresh. I'd be happy to keep servicing your needs if it won't complicate things. I just spoke to my son. Breaking up with you right before Christmas. Yeah. Sean doesn't want to come home. That's fine. But your family just Mr. and Mrs. C. It feels right to be here. Humbug, that's too strong, cause it is my favorite holiday. Hey, Polo, come on! Oh my... Hello. Name's David. Fall under the title of Nat. And Liz. God, if you were two years younger, we'd have to try not to get pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Becky, nice to see you. Remember when we were kids and I threw my whole cookie jar at you? I should probably help with the, uh... Like, have you been standing here the whole time? Hello. Yes. I hope Jesse's having a good time. They're having fun. Now, take a sip of purple drink. Is this safe? Just enjoy the moment. Have a nice glass of lean together. I haven't done something this spontaneous in forever. Yeah, way more cough syrup at the moment mm -hmm. than grape soda. It's very full body. Mm -hmm. Is it too much? <laughs> Not at all. Now she is trying to bang Sean's cousin. We are dealing with a top shelf Christmas slut. Hey, goodbye, everybody. Jesse. This is like it's meant to be. 
whichever path you take, I support it. I know that Sean can be wild sexually, and I want you to know that that comes from my side of the family. I'm sorry. Thank you for sharing that with me. It's important that we stay connected during this busy holiday season. So, drop those lights and pull out your dick. Uh -huh.